Hi everyone, I'm back here again with another video. This time I'm working on two canvases at the same time and the canvas size is 24 by 8 inches, each of them. Um, I probably have about two layers down right now and uh, quick little paintings. These guys don't take long to do at all. Um, they do take long if I'm having a, a, a crap day of painting but this is the day after I had listened to that podcast from True uh, Crime Garage where they had talked about uh, John Lennon and and how his little creativity tank went dry. Well, certainly it wasn't little, but... Um, and so I felt, I woke up that morning and I was like, yes, I feel inspired. You know, one of the greats um, experienced the same thing that I am going through. Um, and so I decided that I would just work on some little ones that day just to see, you know, if I could create something. Sometimes it's easier if you can actually end the day with a completed painting. And so that was my intention for that day. Um, and I'm really sorry that I'm so far away, but I didn't want to keep playing with my webcam to get a better position. So, um, so you can see I, I started carving out with the white. Um, I love carving out shapes and things with white and now I'm starting to um, black out. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, watching myself paint just kills me uh, sometimes. So anyway, I'm using some black paint here now to uh, accentuate certain areas to add some interest. Um, define some areas. I love scraping into black paint when it's still wet because it shows the underneath color. Um, you have to do it quick because of uh, how fast acrylic paints dry, but I am working quite thick here, so I do have a little extra time. And, uh, and you see I'm back with the white again, carving out a little dance. I... <laughs> Uh, it is what it is. Can't help that. But anyway, um, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to see what I have. I, I have just a scraping tool in my hand there and I'm starting to cut into um, the wet paint, adding some texture, um, probably making some marks. And uh, oh boy, that's a, it must have been a really good song. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I listen to, so please don't ask. I have a whole bunch of music. Uh, Amazon Prime is is what I'm using right now, even though I don't really care for it. But So you can see how fast these little paintings are taking shape. Um, one of them is available for sale. The other one, um, I think, sold probably the day after I posted it. So there's still one left on, on my website as of right now, as of this video. I wish you could see um, a little bit closer as to what I was doing, but I'm, I'm still carving into the white paint, adding some definition. Um, I'm kind of carving out where I think I want to add some of the darker lines. Um, and I use a uh, China marker to add those darker black lines. I don't always use China marker. Sometimes, depending on the size of the canvas, I will use a paint marker. I will maybe just use a graphite pencil. Um, but I think for these ones, I had decided to go with a China marker. And so sometimes I carve out the lines just to see if I feel like um, the composition will work. And if it does, that's great. And then I'll go over with China marker. If I don't feel I got the composition right with the scraping tool, then I'll just go over, white it out. Not white it out, but smooth it out with my my little, um, my squeegee, the other favorite word that I like to use. Um, and so because today was a particularly good painting day, I kind of nailed down the composition um, very quickly. And so I was able to just leave it intact and not, and not smooth it over and then try again. Um, and as you can see now, I am starting to work more one individually. That's because I know I'm getting close to the end and I want to just focus entirely on this painting. I don't want to be distracted by having another canvas in my view. Uh, and right now there I was adding some drips 
And before I move the canvas, I want to make sure those drips are dry. Uh, so I'm just using a, a hair dryer a little bit. I love here multitasking, drying, blow drying at the same time, and then adding a little bit of paint, mixing my paint while I was blow drying. Blow drying, sorry. Um, and here I think I'm just highlighting a couple of the areas, wanting to make certain areas stand out. Even though everything is kind of white, it's not just white. Uh, there's different variations of white that I'm using. And so again, now I've switched to the other canvas. You can see I'm adding some drips as, as, as well there. I don't think I was happy with the first attempt at drips, so then I kind of had to touch up a little bit. And I love how I'm standing perfectly in front of the canvas. Okay, so here I've grabbed a little bit more of that white. And if you look closely, you can see how, again, everything is white, but yet that's a bit of a brighter white. Just to make some areas pop. Sometimes the slightest adjustment in, in the shade of a color can make all the difference in the world. So it doesn't have to be, you know, um, a stark difference. It could just be subtle. So it looks like I'm pretty much finished. I'm dancing in celebration. Yeehaw, today was a good day. I'm closing up my paints, uh, drying that one last time. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and check them out on my website.